Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. So I'm doing a review on Pam Wildero, who is, as you can see, a member of Sweet T's band from Cars 3. She is the drummer in the band. Um, obviously, she was released in 2021. And she's the last one I have to open. She was the second one released. She's the last one I have to open. Rich Hurry here was the last one released. And honestly, he may be my favorite. I really like the uh, color on him, but we'll get to that later. I really like the card art on her. I mean, it's really great. Uh, I mean, she looks like she's really having a good time, you know, playing the drums and whatnot. Um, I really like the expression on her there. I don't, the expression on the die cast isn't quite as similar as that one. Isn't it quite as cool as that one? But a uh, really, really cool expression there on the card art. I really like it there. The accessories she comes with are also probably the best accessories, I will say, out of any of the uh, band members. But, uh, yeah, I think Rich Hurry's a... Uh, color is better but yeah new for 2021 this was the first year that they stopped doing the series um, you can see obviously you just have pam there you've got hot rod louise barnstormer nash uh, jimmy cables trainer cruz and uh, muddy rusty's racing center like mcqueen this was the first year they stopped doing the series and they just released everyone like that uh you know uh just on this kind of same card art just whatever i guess uh cars three cars two cars one is kind of how they divided them at least on the back of the package you would only see cars from the same movie but they just release everyone in the same right and i i think i don't know if i'm in the minority here or in the majority i'm not sure but i really like the series more than this i think when they released the cars with a series it was a little bit more organized in a way i guess i don't know that's an interesting a weird way to put it i think but i think it was more organized when it was with the series like you knew you were getting this car in those series, if you're getting these cars in that series, I think it was just more organized than releasing everybody in just a standard line and whatever. Um, and we would also, you know, kind of know what cars we were getting and what cars we weren't getting. Um, and I think it also opened up the possibility for more unique cars to be released and less, less, less re-releases. Um, I guess this isn't a good thing, but or a good, like picture to use here but like some of the cars that they release like hot shot holiday mcqueen and um winter ramon or whatever in the standard line like those are kind of strange to release in the standard line and better for christmas packaging and whatnot um and under a series um they probably would have never been released um i'm not saying it's bad that they were released but i'm just saying it was more organized and i think they released more unique cars when they did the series i think it's a re-releasing a lot of the same characters all the time they kind of change it up i don't know if that's making a lot of sense but i really preferred the series much more than the just standard kind of releasing everybody under the same line or whatever but i don't know if i'm in the minority or majority here but that was just something i felt uh had to say but yeah let's get pam here out of the package anyways um this video is about pam not about the series or how cars are released nowadays let's get pam here the package all the accessories are falling out but here is pam yeah see the expression isn't quite as good as the one on the carter but still a nice expression nonetheless and we'll get into that there's the drum there's another drum thing there and there's the last drum so i guess we'll start with pam and then we'll uh, get into the accessories so here's pam uh nice kind of blue color on her and uh, there you can see that she is, you know, smiling, happy to be playing the drums. And then you can see her uh, like forks here have the drumsticks and look a little thick. Um, I mean, if you look at the card art here, look at how thin those drumsticks are. And then look at how thick and big these ones are. But I, mean, I guess it's just how, how they had to do it. So I don't really mind I'm not complaining. I'm glad that you can see the expression on her because on some... Uh, you know, cars with special forks, whatever, <laughs> such as Double Clutch Daily here. I mean, you, can, you can't see his mouth at all. You can just see his eyes. But I'm glad that you can see the smile on her there. Nice blue eyes there. Got a gray hat. Looks nice. Kind of playing on the side. Obviously, nothing much there. Got some nice blue wheels. Got kind of like a grill in the back or whatever, a vent. And then you've got uh, like a generator or whatever on the back. Not many pitties have been released like that, but um, looks nice. I guess it's part of the same kind of piece here. I don't know which 
guess it's a similar color, so maybe it is the same plastic piece inside. I'm not sure. Um, and there's the base. Actually, surprised that they put a date stamp on her. They don't do that for many pities, but there you go. Seventh week of 2021, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, nothing too special about her herself, but she does look nice. And she is the same model as I just showed, Double Clutch Daily. She is the same model as him. Um, you can see they're the same model. Uh, obviously, they have different accessories. Um, with Double Clutch having the checkered flag and her having the drumstick. So the fork, like plastic insert part there is different, but the models are exactly the same. But they are the only two pitties with this model so far. And I I don't think we're going to get more because this, this seems kind of like a Thomasville pity model and not really one that's used anywhere else. So, you know, probably not going to get it anywhere else, but nice to get it here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're the same model. But honestly, they're both... Pretty unique pitties, obviously a flag waving pity here and a, a drum playing pity. Uh and yeah, I think I think they look nice. I like both of them. But that's all for Pam, I guess. We'll take a look at her accessories here, which are probably some of the coolest accessories uh you'll get in anything. It's kinda like three big drums here. I mean they're they're pretty sizable accessories, honestly. Like comparing what we got to for Robert Jam Jones, which was this like box thing and this other box thing, I guess, like a speaker, right? Considering these are the two accessories we got for Robert, and then this is what we got for Pam. That's pretty cool. So, sorry with this one. I guess this is like a symbol, I think. Uh, you know, you take it, two of them, and, like, hit them against each other. But I guess it can also be used for, like, a drum thing. So, looks pretty cool. I mean, not much there, but I like the stand. Uh, and it actually stands, because sometimes these accessories don't stand, but this one has a nice sturdy stand on it, so I do like that. Nice color there. Uh, here's just a basic drum, I guess. Uh, not much going on, but it is just a basic drum. Looks pretty nice as well. And then you've got this really cool drum here. It's kind of her main drum, I guess, the big one. It has the logo of the Sweet Tea's band and everything here. Uh, Sweet Tea and the Legends. The big T in the middle there. See, that one looks nice. And then on the back here, I think you would put her, you should put her wheel right there and kind of like, you know, step on it with a wheel, I guess, or whatever. And as she would, this like thing would hit on the back and make it, you know, make a sound. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That it's actually, you know, kind of put some creativity in or picks or whoever kind of made it, you know, made it creative there or whatever. But uh, I also like the design on the drum, and then it's kind of like, you know, tarnished a bit here. There's signs of wear and tear, I guess. It looks nice, you know, it kind of shows that this drum's been through something. They've they've used this drum a lot, so I think that adds to the uh, character of it. So that looks pretty nice as well. So let's put her with her accessories here. Um, I guess you go here, right? Go on the... Thing there and then you have the symbol thing here and then you have the other drum here and yeah there she is uh playing for sweet tea's band but let's compare her to some of the other sweet tea band pities here like i said rich hurry i think is my favorite obviously he's not you know a unique casting or whatever by any stretch of the imagination uh well i mean he kind of is but he's also kind of not but i really like the color on him uh, he looks really cool with this really like teal aqua mint color pretty unique color i think it looks really cool so there he is obviously his accessory was like this piano thing or whatever um if my camera would focus okay there we go so yeah there he is i think he looks really cool he's probably my favorite like i said and uh here is robert jam jones unfortunately he's probably my least favorite he's just got the guitar there and uh yeah he's kind of boring i mean you can't even see his mouth there but He's not the most interesting one. And like I said, his access his accessories were kind of lame. Uh, just these two kind of stereo things there. So there's Robert. So these are kind of the background members. And obviously you've got Sweet T herself here with the microphone. I don't know why the camera does not want to focus. But there you go. Sweet T with the microphone there. Uh, released in a two-pack 
yeah, there you go. Kind of have the members of the Sweet Tea Band. Obviously not set up very properly, but I think they look cool together, honestly. My favorite is probably Sweet Tea or Rich Curry. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which one of these is your favorite. But, yeah, that's kind of all the members of the band together there. Uh, let's give Pam, uh, let's put up a picture of where Pam appeared in the movie. She appeared, obviously, in the background of the band there, playing the drums. I think she was to the left of Sweet Tea. So, pretty cool release. Obviously, nice that Mattel got all the band members uh, done pretty quickly. I think they were all released in the same year as well, so that's pretty nice. I think 2021 was the year they were all released. Um, and yeah, let me know what your favorite band member is down in the comments below. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let me know why as well. I mean, do you like Rich because of the colors? Do you like Robert because he's got, like, the guitar in his, you know, in the forks? The forks are kind of positioned in a unique way there. Or do you like Pam because... Of the, I mean, she's got some nice accessories. I will say that. I think these are some of the coolest accessories that we've ever got. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.